British government officials' frantic response to Donald Trump's late-night announcement of the Muslim travel ban has been revealed in a cache of emails. Foreign Office documents released under the Freedom of Information Act reveal concerns about the Muslim ban, which was ordered just as London is going to sleep. The government wanted to set up an internal warning system to keep tabs on Donald Trump's increasingly erratic announcements. And they say officials on both sides of the Atlantic were blindsided by the president's early morning tweets. Officials feared thousands of UK citizens with dual nationality could be prevented from traveling to the US, amid concerns about the potential impact on Anglo-American relations. B. British Embassy, Washington have been trying to get clarity from state the State Department, without luck so far, one internal Foreign Office email dated January 28 reported. If true, this would obviously mean thousands of dual nationals with British passports being banned from traveling to the U.S. Not great after the PM visit. Another email, on the same day, said, the dual nationals angle will of course be really difficult for us. I'll come back to you when I have more on our response. The emails show that officials closely monitored media coverage, including press association reports of the developing situation, as well as tweets from individual journalists. One press association report picked up by officials highlighted Sir Mo Farah's fears that he may be unable to return home to his children in the U.S. We're still guiding the that we are working with the State Department to establish the impact but grateful if we can be kept informed of any new advice to Brits looking to travel, one official wrote. While the government secured an exemption for UK passport holders from the ban, which was subsequently struck down in the courts, the emails show officials were concerned the pace of developments in the US meant they could be caught out again. One official complained they were drowning under emails while another noted the new administration was ticking off campaign promises at a fair clip. On January 30th, Kara Owen, director of the America's desk at the Foreign Office, suggested setting up a new internal warning system to monitor the impact of Mr. Trump's executive orders on British interests. Many of these orders will no doubt be issued just as London is going to sleep, she said. I would like us to establish a system for assessing impact of the orders on UK interests, if any, and offering quick advice on what to do about it to the right readership, including senior readers in FCO and Whitehall, press and private offices. In addition, I would welcome any other predictions about EO's, executive orders, foreshadowed during the campaign and likely to touch on our interests, he is doing a lot of what he said he would. Downing Street said the emails showed officials working to protect UK interests and that they had not been afraid to raise concerns with the US. We were working pretty quickly to establish the impact, of the travel ban, on British nationals. Where we have difference with the US we don't refrain from raising them. A number 10 spokeswoman said. The Foreign Office is a 24-7 operation with offices around the globe. One of their jobs is to make sure they protect the UK's interests and I think that is what the email exchanges show they were doing.